hey guys welcome back to the channel thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on this video today we are going to be going through the shop i've already took uh, several things down uh, from the yeah. wall and we're going yeah. to be putting a actual uh brooder from probably right in here all the way it'll probably be about 10 foot long and i'm going to come out about two foot and i can actually put dividers in between the brooders if i have different age quail or different uh age uh, chickens so um, as y'all know that I'm fascinated with baby quail. I love hatching them. We had a hundred and some of them hatch yesterday. So, um, but before we get started, I also want to uh, let y'all know about the meetup. It's going to be July 24th um, at 8 a.m. It's going to be at the Expo Daddy. Center in Sulphur, Oklahoma. Daddy, huh? I did saw that chicken right here. You did? Yeah. <laughs> wow. But um, it's going to be um, July 24th at 8 a.m. It's going to start. It falls on a Saturday. We're going to have it all day. So there's so many things you can do here. We've got two lakes. We've got a state park, Turner Falls, Arbuck Wilderness. There's, there's tons of things you can do here uh, to make it like an all-weekend vacation. But anyways, with all that, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, like I said, we're going to put the actual... Um, quail brooder here on this wall so what I'm gonna do is come in and I'm gonna take these tables down uh, these were actually tables we used when we was building the, the American flags um, they worked out perfect for the kids and once we move out to the new property and start a new homestead we will build a, uh, a larger building and we'll have some tables for the kids because they this is where they put the wood and actually uh, sand the wood and as you can see they painted all the stripes um, awesome time we had a really good time but we're going to go ahead and take these down for now and um i'm, I'm going to use these uh the tops or this is going to be the top or bottom i don't know yet the way i build things i just start putting wood together and hopefully it matches hopefully it works but um anyways i'm going to go ahead and put these down and we'll ta uh, take them loose from the wall i'm going to go ahead and take the top off if i can find I never planned on taking that off, I don't guess. What, what I'm basically doing here, I'm going to go ahead and take this electric line down and I'm going to go ahead and move it over so I can just run my 2 before along the wall and I don't have to build around it. That way it's not big of a mess. So I don't know much about electricity so that's about as far as I'm going to go with that. So I'm going to go ahead and put the cover back on this before anybody gets shot. Could you explain you were filming while you... What? Just down there a little bit. Uh, that's eight foot. Uh, I'll do that. I'll do that. This all is going to be temporary for just probably about... Uh, did I get your toe? That was my toe. Sorry. You're right? Mm-hmm. Sure? I'm good. Oh, <laughs> you ain't. <laughs> Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these, lay them on the floor, and make a, a bottom. The floor is unlevel, so I've got to kind of work with it. Be mad. 
foot long. So I'm going to extend all that out. Where's my tape measure? So I'm going to go down here on this end. Can I do this first? No, not too. It would be my left foot. And like I say, this is just going to be a, a small, well, it's going to be a big chicken brooder until we get to our new place. So. A big chicken bowl? Yeah, a big chicken brooder. <laughs> now I'm going to turn this up on its edge. You make two TV? Make what? A TV. No, it ain't no TV. There's a TV there. Things are a lot easier when you have room to work you and just these, right now. You got these. I'll yeah, they, it. them ain't big enough, baby. No. Right now we just don't have that. Hopefully, hopefully we'll have that when we get to our new place. Why you got your why why you got this? Huh? I got that. No, that's from that shovel the other day. Oh. You wanna try? Are you sure? Oh, let's see if Daddy can get this started for you. All right, put your hands up there. Get you. Ready? Get your other one up here. Hold it like this. Ready? Push that button. Oh, I got you. Ready? Put your hand up there. Put your hand up there. there Alright, here it goes. Whoa! Oh, sorry. Good job. Daddy's proud of you, okay? You did good. Give daddy five. Yeah. <laughs> Every time it's hard. Daddy, we're missing one more hole. Huh? We're missing one more hole. Yeah, that one's fine right there. Alright, so we got the daddy. actual floor, the bottom in. Where's daddy? Where's mama? Yeah, mama's coming. We've got the... All right, so we got the, the bottom part done. Now I'm going to make it to where we can actually put it up against the wall. Um, I will, yeah, Leighton, I'll need your help here just a second. Addison? And I'm telling you, these Porter Cable um, drills, I've had these guys forever. And I don't know. I, I've never had one go bad. I've never had a battery go bad. So if you're looking for a good drill that's dependable, um, I would definitely say go with Porter Cable. They have one that you can just get the regular drill and a hammer bit or a hammer drill. Um, two of them in a bag and two batteries for like $99 or something like that. I'll leave a link down below so you can go check them out. Like I say, these are some good. Uh, I can mm -hmm. definitely speak for the drills. They are good. I've had my first one for about four or five years, and then my sister-in-law got me one, and I've had it for about two years now. So definitely, Porter Cable has definitely got it going with their drills. Do you want the tape measure to try to measure it out? I've got the uh, these up on the wall. What I'm going to do just to go ahead and, and get my distance and everything. I'm going to go ahead and slide this up here. Right there. 
and then we're going to take this and put it here. And like I say, guys, I'm just using leftover wood. There's no need to spend tons of money on new wood when this is all going to be took down eventually. So. That was close call, guys. What was that? Oh, this motor failed. I almost got it. Huh? I'm just into this off. Yeah. Oh, I'll wait. You don't get it? <laughs> Highlight. That's the reason why I never throw any scrap away at all. Because I can reuse it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take some of this scrap wood I have here. I'm going to lay it on the inside here to where it flushes up with the outside. Once it flushes up with the outside, I'm going to leave enough of room so I can actually uh, put an end piece here. But after that, I'm going to take my drill. The reason why I do that is it's going to help it stand up and not only that it's going to keep it flush at the same time. And there there it is. That's pretty flush. And guys, this is just me trying to make it work with what I got. Um, I know this ain't going to be permanent for but for the next two or three months it'll get me by. So hopefully we will see if I can actually get a screw in this. Literally, this is what you call improvising. You've seen me take uh, my, my wooden flag jigs apart. You've seen me take stuff from the wall to actually build this chicken coop. That's when you know that wood prices are getting high. I do not uh, burn any of my wood. I keep it all stored over in the, in, on the side over here. I don't care if the pieces are that big, that big square, because you just never know. Like I said, this right here is probably going to save me 150, 200 bucks building this uh, actual uh, brooder if I was going to build it out of new wood, especially with the prices. So, anyways, uh, guys, thank y'all so much for watching this video. We greatly appreciate all the support y'all show to our channel. And as always, you see that we've got our friends shirt on, Cassie and Gary from Walker Farm Fan. And we ask that if you're not subscribed to their channel, please go subscribe to their channel and check that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of the latest videos. And then also do not forget about our friends that just live just north of us, Fowler Family Farm, Mike and Tanya. We just went and visit their, their actual homestead here last weekend and we absolutely had a blast. Um, I think that we had so much fun we're going to have to definitely try it again but anyways let's go ahead and get back to it
All right, guys, so what I'm doing right now, I'm in the process. I'm going to go ahead and make these a, a screen door. So this back path's going to have, or back part's going to have wood on it. And this front part, I'm going to put uh, wire on it. So it won't be solid heat, and they can go back and forth. I hope it'll work. But uh, like I say, I'm using all scrap wood with this. And um, just because it'll be taken down here in a couple months. But um, I recommend if you do deal with wood, just save your wood and you can use wood over and over and over and over again. But um, anyways, I really hope y'all enjoying this video. Like I say, I ain't much of a carpenter, but uh, I, I do enough to get me by for uh, my uh, actual quail and chicken pens. So anyways. <laughs> It's a little on level, but it's getting late. I'm trying to finish this. I've got to pick up the birds tomorrow, so I'm trying to get this all worked out. All right, guys, this is it uh, for the night. Uh, tomorrow we'll come in and put the hinges on it. I'll actually go pick up the birds and stuff tomorrow. Um, and then we'll actually put some heat lamps in here. And I'll put a divider so we can have different um, different breeds of quail. Um, because we have button quail, we have the regular quail, and then we still have chickens. So I have different uh, slots. I can make these individual slots and put heat lamps in here. And we should be good to go then. Day two here, uh, building our new chicken or our quail brooder. As many of y'all know that I've got an addiction with um, um, quail, and I don't know why. I just love raising them. But we are going to start advertising these to sell them on our website, Quail and Quail Eggs. So if you know anyone interested in quail, please send them our way. Uh, we probably have about 400 now that we've got adults and babies. Also, uh, I want to keep in mind let everyone know that we're still going to have our meet and greet July 24th um, from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Not only can you come to the meet and greet, we have tons of things you can do here. This is a great area to uh, for vacation and, and just going out sightseeing. You got Arbuck Wilderness, got Turner Falls, just tons of stuff. If you got a boat, bring a boat. We've got a couple lakes here. Um, you actually have a really good time here. So. Anyways, enough with the talking. We're going to go ahead and get started at finishing the pins up. All right, so that's going to be the door for three of them. So now I'm going to put dividers in between here so we can put have three different types of uh, birds in here at one time or if they're different ages or whatever, we can put them in there. Um, then after that, we're going to get some lights and we'll put in. We should be good to go after that. All right, guys, so I've found another piece of scrap wood over here in the corner. I'm going to go ahead and put these in between right about here. And then I've got some extra pieces of wood that I'm going to put on the side. We'll make them as slots as we can remove them uh, when we want.
There it is. It's all heated up now. At least that side is. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get a vacuum cleaner over here. Or dust the back shop, shop back over here and uh, clean that all out real quick. Here's all the new baby quail that's fixing to go in here. I'd probably say there's at least 50, anywhere 50 to 75 of them. So I'm going to start putting them in there slowly and then we'll get some water and put in there and we'll be good to go. Sixty-one, sixty-two, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six, sixty-seven, sixty-eight, sixty-nine, seventy, seventy-one, seventy-two, ninety-five, ninety-six, and there's still probably uh, for the fourteen, fifty of them got to come over here that we brought from the other night. So we'll go get those right now. So. These guys are, as you can see, they're, that they're really uh, cold right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this up. I'm going to put a little bit of wood over top of this so it'll heat them up. And uh, I'm going to get them some food and stuff in the meantime so they'll be ready to go. All right, guys, like I said, we just finished this. Um, it's a two-day project. We started late last night. We didn't get it finished. Uh, so we ended up finishing it this evening. Went and picked up all the quail. Um, so we end up having 133 quail inside this uh, this side of the brooder and then we'll use those sides after uh, these incubators here start hatching and uh, from there we'll just move them outside just switch them out rotate them so guys if you y'all know anybody interested in quail please send them ruskwoodwork.org we sell our quail and our eggs so Thank each and every one of y'all for watching. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to our channel and check that notification bell. That way you don't miss any of our latest videos.